Mahindra's Wrangler knockoff is going electric. And it could arrive in America before an electric Wrangler does. Mahindra Automotive has posted the first teaser video of its upcoming Thar.e all electric off-roader. The Thar, and its more agricultural cousin, the Roxer, have been a thorn in Jeep's side for many years, as Jeep claims these vehicles are a knockoff of its Wrangler, but the real story is more nuanced than that. The India-based automaker has tried for several years to import its Roxer to the USA, but it has always been successfully blocked by FCA or Stellantis. But earlier this year, the Eastern District Court of Michigan shot down the latest attempt, leaving the door open for Mahindra to import the, much, cheaper, albeit not US road legal, Jeep Wrangler alternative. Apparently, the redesigned Thar and Roxer models are different enough not to confuse consumers as if the name on the hood wasn't good enough. The Thar.T, however, is something new and appears to be more concept than a production-ready off-roader. Still, Mahindra might be Jeep's Magneto to the punch. The car will debut on 18th of August in South Africa, where Mahindra has an assembly plan. Not much is known about the Thar.T, but Mahindra and Volkswagen signed a parts-sharing agreement in late 2022. While Mahindra might be able to build an off-roader on a ladder frame chassis, this agreement means that Mahindra could build future electric SUVs on the MEB platform, which underpins the VW ID.4, among others. Volkswagen will eventually move on to its new EV platform in 2026, but this is an excellent way for it to still make billions from the older technology. If this proves to be the case, the Thar Dotty would grow in size compared to the current Thar slash Ruxer, which is sold as a UTV, utility terrain vehicle, in the US. The new platform would allow it to become a proper road legal vehicle. MEB would also give it access to the same dual motor setup as the ID.4, which produces 295 horsepower and 339 pounds to foot of torque with either 62 kWh or 82 kWh batteries. We'll find out soon enough though. On the topic of the design itself, the teaser shows retro-styled LED lighting, but little else. We expect it to rely on the retro Willys Jeep design, though. It's also worth remembering that the Thar isn't exactly a knockoff. Willys Overland Motors won a bid to produce vehicles for the American military during World War II, but it couldn't build enough cars, so the design was licensed to Ford, amongst other manufacturers. Ford was actually responsible for the famous stamped grille, so technically 50% of the original design belongs to the Blue Oval. The same license was handed to Mahindra in 1948 to produce a model for the Indian market. Technically, the Mahindra Thar is no more a knockoff than the Jeep Wrangler. Mahindra was meant to stay in its own lane, but nobody expected the small company to reach a net worth of nearly $22 billion, which puts it on par with Kia, currently valued at $23 billion.